Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see if we can pick up the energy between you and the person that is on your mind. Please remember, do not force anything in the reading to fit your situation. The reading is meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know. If this one is not resonating for you, you could check out your other sun positions, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You can also, if you know your birth chart, check out the signs that are in your 7th or 8th house. And if you're doing a, a love affair or a fling, <laughs> most of the time, 5th uh, house, your sign that's in the 5th house is good for that one. So let's jump in. Let's get your person's energy. Let's find my Taurus's person, their energy right now. Present moment energy, please. Where's their energy? It's for my Taurus. My Taurus. Pop. Mmm. What we got? Whoa. Look, I'm slinging it everywhere, y'all. Hmm. A four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Okay. Let's clarify on that four of pentacles real quick for me. Clarify that. Four pentacles. Four pentacles. Somebody has definitely got a tight grip. Oh, and it's coming sideways. What do we got? Devil card. Oh, devil card. <laughs> yeah. Temptation, but inner demons trained in. Four pentacles is a tight grip. Sometimes it can represent jealousy. I just don't want to let go of something I find valuable. Uh, with that devil um, not deciding whether it's going to be upright. <laughs> or reversed um it this that means the energy is just iffy on it um they they don't like feeling jealous they don't like some of their behaviors what they're displaying but they don't seem to be able to get past it it's like saying i can't help it i feel this way <laughs> let's back step into their energy please this is for my taurus let's back step that energy let's back step pop there we got a reversed what? Is seven of wands reversed? Okay. Hang on, I'll get into reading them in just a minute. Let's go all the way back. All the way back. When this first energy first surfaced form, what what led it up to all of this? Pop. Hmm. Four cups reversed. Four cups are reversed. Bottom of the deck. Somebody's feeling left out, alone, and like they've lost out big time. Five of cups. Card of grieving. Mourning. Disappointment. Where's my deck? I'm going to find your energy real quick. Let's see how they're viewing you, Taurus. Because I'm not quite sure. Are the... I'm asked for their energy, but for some reason, I'm almost wanting to say they're telling me your energy over here on that one. But let's find out for sure. How are you perceiving my Taurus? Where's their energy? What are you seeing Taurus standing in? Uh, sideways. Off balance. Two of pentacles. Off balance. Juggling something. Keep going. Tell us some more. Tell us some more. Show me more of their energy. Okay. Let's cut the deck again. Just with that one, guys, that they would be, uh, they're not sure about your energy and they feel like you're not sure about something that you may be juggling. Uh, prioritizing two different things or trying to clarify on our two of pentacles please mm. queen of pentacles capricorn and high priestess mm. No, it's, this is definitely their energy over here. Because what they're seeing you in, they're not sure what's going on with you. They're uncertain. They feel like you've got two priorities, two things <clears throat> that you're trying to focus in on. 
you uh they're not quite sure where your thoughts and feelings are at with the high priestess is veiled for them they're 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 not able to read your energy because they got you studying on something really focusing in uh on something but they don't know exactly what's going on with you on the inside in your thoughts in your feelings um uh, they just they just cannot read your energy right now things are moving slow virgo no no it's pisces sorry guys pisces energy um still moving slow though uh they're feeling very vulnerable mm -hmm. trying to come at us with their heart definitely mm -hmm. let me grab another deck which deck do i want to use let's use finestra to clarify all these cards over here hmm my Taurus their person stick with their energy for a minute please I'm wanting to read the four cups <clears throat> see what's in their their head what what initially started because this is back at the beginning that triggered all this energy up here four cups is it possible that I'm ignoring my inner voice or emotional needs uh -huh. or is it possible that I feel like my inner needs are being ignored hmm because so, like i said they got you studying hard on something you're not really giving time and attention to them from their perspective uh with that seven of pentacles being reversed this it's also like we're not energy is not being placed into nurturing and cultivating the relationship Let's go ahead and clarify on a four reverse four cups. What do you want to tell us on that? Top. The emperor. Emperor. Don't know where things are going. Don't know. Things fell out of control with that emperor. Tell me more about the emperor energy. Let's talk about this emperor energy. Pop. Full card. Things feel risky. Keep going. Tell me more about that Emperor card. Needless stress, anxiety, and worry. What else? Keep going. Mm, that one was trying to come out. I'm going to look at it. Lover's card. I'm going to go ahead and, and pull it out. Even though it didn't jump all the way. Is significant in what what they're feeling. Yeah, there it goes. Seven of Pentacles. Mm, okay, so base mm, Devil card on the bottom. Mm. Devil, more Capricorn energy. Basically, the Emperor to them is you, your energy. Uh, they're they are they've got needless stress, anxiety going on. Probably, maybe, maybe not. Um, because they're they're having a hard time figuring out what you're focused in on, what you're wanting, where you're going. Because they got you getting ready to take a leap of, leap of faith and maybe a new beginning. They're constantly worried about uh, you jumping that cliff, like leaving or leaving them behind. Uh, lovers and would, all they really want is to nurture the relationship, to cultivate it, to come back together, to have the closeness in the connection uh, let's, uh, but you don't seem to be showing up from their what they're they are trying to say you are distracted by something and they can't figure out what let's do that reverse seven. Ooh, it's falling off the table judgment not sure resurrecting something can we resurrect it tell me more about the judgment card It's like saying, can we get the fire back? Uh, I may feel like that, you know, you're just tired of the connection. You're bored, tired. What's going on? Ten with a five of pentacles. Hmm. 
there's definitely uh, a lack mentality with this they feel like you're just not there uh, not willing to invest time, any more time or energy uh, that you stuck it out for a long time your but your judgment has changed that you feel like you're holding yourself back and you can do better let's come in on that four of pentacles with that devil sitting sideways because that four of pentacles is like saying i don't want to lose what we have i don't it can represent jealousy that kind of thing we've got a hangman and a self-restrictor of an eight of swords uh can't see past what's going on i don't know what's going on feeling stuck in this energy no wonder the devil energy they don't know what to do they definitely are on fire and passionate uh, they're being motivated wanting to figure something out take some kind of action but i can guarantee they don't know what to do because they're not able to read your energy they don't know your thoughts yeah, any, any fire they bring towards you, any of that communicating, uh, let's get serious, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, uh, you're just not there for, uh, for the conversation. Queen of Swords, you're coming across as very cold. Uh, Page of Pentacles. Ooh, with that Page of Pentacles, that's going to ha uh, have them thinking that you are... Ooh, there is a little bit of suspicion that you might have someone with that uh, cancer queen coming in that you might be trying to build a, a relationship with someone else leaving them behind the f our five over here so yeah let's go ahead and see how y'all are mirroring each other in this connection anything you're in sync on and what's mirroring between you oh i need to cut the deck hold on Feeling I need to. Ooh, guys, look, it ain't even gonna cut right. Put this one over here. Okay. Don't ask. It's my cry cry, y'all. How are they mirroring each other? It's from Taurus and their person. How are they mirroring? Their energy's mirroring. What are they in sync on here? You may not realize. Keep going. I got one out. Keep going. Anything else? Let's see what come out. Hermit card. Hermit card. We definitely pulled away from each other. Introspection. Reevaluating things for ourselves. Keep going. Communications is definitely not good between us. Mm, the Empress. Empress energy. Closely introspection, but also curiosity. Is there more? Can there be more? Anything else? Yep. Hmm. Temperance. Temperance, but we're asleep in that temperance. I love uh, Nicoletta's decks. Sleep in the temperance card. Look at all the major arcanas coming out on mirror, the mirroring energy. The, most of the time, the shadow on temperance is trying to bend the will of things to to get what you want is manipulations mind games um maneuver strategy that kind of thing uh in in a selfish kind of manner but in nicoletta's it's like nope i don't even feel like doing that i'm going to sleep in this i know it's it's like both of us have fallen asleep We've quit communicating we've withdrawn from each other and we are doing close examinations of what each each of us what we want in our life is what it seems to be saying bottom of the deck the ten of swords is it ruined is it ruined you can see the cake is is everything ruined what's up underneath her five of cups yeah we got a cup mm. something has definitely happened in the four of cups somebody was in their own bubble something has definitely happened with the the five because uh, I'm asking about mirroring energy. This is not just their energy over here. 
it's saying is also your energy of what got ruined. Something happened that ruined, that it seems to have disconnected us, that literally put the sword between us and cut the ties. Mm. Let's go ahead and get a third voice here. I'm holding the deck upside down. I need to switch it around. Getting a third voice. We're using Susan Dawn's um, tarot. It does not have pictures. It has words to me. This is like having a third person chime in. Let's cut the deck real quick. That was good. Anything I want to bring out for my Taurus about the situation, about their relationship connection to this person. Mm -hmm. Keep it going a minute. It's that one snuck out. So anything, okay. We got a page of wands. Playful and passionate communication is bringing a fresh and useful energy to your relationship. Allow yourself to enjoy this new phase of your journey. If we go back to some playfulness, some open communications, because right now what we're mirroring is there's no communication. From your person's standpoint, you are so focused in on something else that when they do talk, you're not hearing it. You're, you, you're tuning out, completely tuning out from them. That's from their standpoint. That's their perception of it, guys. Is there anything else? Anything else on this deck? Anything else from a Taurus? That would be helpful. Yep. Eight of Pentacles. Relationships take dedicated effort through the mutual cultivation of your love you and your partner are growing in this sacred bond that's the one thing we surmised that all the seven of pentacles especially this one being reversed your person doesn't feel like you're willing to cultivate to invest let's go ahead and pull one more deck make sure i'm not holding and get a little bit more of a third voice here the third, hopefully the third voice is giving you advice, playful, passionate communications, open it back up, put the seriousness of things aside, and are you willing, ask yourself, are you willing, hold on, eight of pentacles, let's read it for you real quick, where's the questions you need to answer, eight of pen pentacles, is it possible that lack of momentum is due to lack of expansion rate behaviors boredom guys doing the same thing over and over or grind of something there's yeah anything else for my taurus here that would be helpful for my taurus anything else that, mm -hmm. The world card, one aspect of your journey has come to an end. Take a moment to, to look back at how far you've come, everything you've learned and how you've grown and transformed. Get ready for the next exciting chapter. Travel might be on the horizon for you. Embrace the opportunity for expansion as you experience new cultures and meet new people. Ooh, guys, with that one, uh, the fact the alternative message down here is is literally having because we're in such roteness of we think we know each other and know everything about each other and it's boring sort of say and this is approaching this person the only way you're going to reignite one's fire is to view them as someone you don't really know all that much about. Someone new. Do you feel like they could be someone new? Do you, or you're just like, nope. Been there, done that. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I'm tired. Is there anything else here? Anything else? Yes. Well, I'll take it. Let's put the deck over here. Ace of Cups is on its head. An abundance of love is headed your way. You're open to love from the universe, and now love is ready to flow towards you. Get ready for a brand new beginning in a relationship, love of self, or phase of your life that is set, setting you on the course of emotional fulfillment. 
yeah, like I said, the one thing, the fact that this is on its head, guys, is telling me that we, we, it's hard for us to view the person, this person that's coming forward as someone that we don't really know all that much about. We feel like we already know them, everything. I even know how bad their fart stinks, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, we've got to view them in a different light to see if we can, if we're going to work through this. Because mm -hmm. over here, that Ten of Swords is like, mm -mm, I think it's ruined. What else do we, was I going to pull here? Oh, messages. Let's do the messages. Sorry, Taurus. Mm, where's the messages? No. You are getting the roses. Mm -hmm. Let's get this deck shuffled up. Get a few messages for you. This is for my Taurus. It's for my Taurus. Their person. Their person. Let's cut it in half. Then I'm Taurus, that person, what do you want to say? Pop. I'm not sure how you really feel about me. Mm -hmm. okay. My love for you will never die. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. It's time to let go. Let's switch decks. She's talking. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I always doubt your love for me. Anything else? Oh. I'm hoping and praying. Anything else? I'm making the effort. Hmm. Taurus. Woo. Okay. Let's get you a soulmate's uh, attracting and nurturing loving relationships. See what will come out. My Taurus. Do not fear the current changes. All is happening in accordance with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way for a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. Oh, Taurus, guys, I hope it was helpful. Y'all stay blessed out there.